This video is sponsored by EV, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform. Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, then hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we're going to look at software update 2021.4.22, release notes and autopilot drive for our Tesla Model 3 here in Sydney, Australia. We're going to do that and much more right after this. So with the Tesla Model 3 becoming more affordable by the day thanks to a dropping MSRP, and various subsidies across different states in Australia. Now is the time to check out ev.com.au, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform, because with EV, you can rent out a Tesla for a few days to try before you buy to make sure it's really suitable for you and your family. You can answer questions for yourself, such as how long does it take to charge? How fast does it really go? And can you really take a Tesla out on a road trip? Does it last the distance? because with ev.com.au you can rent it for a few days to try before you buy, you could take it over a weekend on a road trip, or you can surprise that special someone with an EV rental as a gift, that person is always talking about Teslas and electric vehicles, you know exactly what I mean. So check out ev.com.au forward slash Tesla Tom and use my coupon code Tesla Tom to get $30 off your first rental. With an ever growing fleet of Teslas and electric vehicles around Australia, there's sure to be an EV car for rent near you. And now, for the rest of the video. Welcome back guys, and as I said, we're looking at software update 2021.4.22 in our Tesla Model 3 performance here in Sydney, Australia. This is a non-FSD beta release. Looking at the release notes, just the usual minor fixes. This release contains minor bug fixes and improvements. But as usual, we're gonna go on an autopilot test drive to make sure there's been no new bugs and to make sure everything is still working okay. But just before we head off, I just want to give Joa a quick plug. They sent me this very handy mobile phone holder that attaches to the back of the infotainment screen in our Tesla Model 3. You might be asking, why do I have a mobile phone holder next to the screen when I've already got a wireless charging pad? Well, sometimes I do like to have a ways up on my phone and having a mobile phone holder that's right next to the screen is very handy because visibility is much better when the phone is right next to the screen rather than having to look down at the wireless charging pad below the screen. And now with the updated version of the Jua phone holder has wireless charging with a cable that snakes into your USB ports in your Model 3 in the center console. So check out this Jawa mobile phone holder. I'll leave the details in the description below. All right guys, so I uh, just wanna quickly show you the um, uh, autopilot settings I've got on. So uh, this is an FSD package car. So I've got auto steer beta, navigate on autopilot, traffic light and stop sign control beta, green traffic light chime, full self-driving visualization preview and summon. So of course, if you just buy a Model 3 without FSD package, you'll basically just get auto steer beta. Uh, everything else requires the FSD package. All right, I'll put the rear cameras on for you and the side repeaters so you can see what's happening. Now to engage autopilot, right indicator stalk, double tap twice. You should hear that chime, that famous chime that shows that autopilot is engaged or auto steer is engaged with traffic aware cruise control and it does match the speed. You see that speed change, I can just hold the right stalk down, long hold, and it matches the 80 kilometers an hour that the posted speed sign is showing. So these two blue tram tracks indicate it's on auto steer autopilot. The navigate on autopilot, which is part of the FSD package, is a single uh, blue line. So just a quick drive today, I won't go too far. Just to go up and down uh, this bridge here, so show you its capabilities. Uh, now, of course, I do realize I've got a whole range of viewers. I've got uh, new owners and I've got experienced owners. So I do always like to keep my videos uh, and always start with the basics because I understand not everybody has had a Tesla for many years like myself. There are some who just got a Tesla today, for example. Uh, if you did, congratulations, by the way. Um, hope you're enjoying your car. Um, so yeah, so auto steer, autopilot is basically traffic aware cruise control. Uh, which basically follows the car ahead of you uh, and auto steer which is I think personally still the best uh, auto steer that I've seen with the many cars that I've driven over over the years so coming to 60 kilometers an hour you see that it drops to 60 there I'll just hold the stalk again 
on the right and it does bring me back to 60 kilometers an hour as the posted speed sign shows you don't have to hold the stalk all the way down you can just hold it that half half press and same with autopilot you can engage with the double tap uh, half halfway down it should uh, do the trick we've got auto lane change as well so let's try to change lanes like that of course that is only available with the FSD um, sorry FSD package uh, if you've just got the basic autopilot you won't have the auto lane change but I do quite like the lane change I've got to say uh, especially on road trips I know that would take many anymore but uh, road trips auto lane change can be quite handy now we've got this traffic light aware thing where basically I've got to actually press the indicator so I press the accelerator or uh, just tap the indicator on my right if I'm the first car at a green light if I'm following a train of cars then it'll stop automatically but if you're the first car at a light and it's green you've still got to uh, confirm that green light so that's the only slightly annoying part but I understand the safety aspect of, of that decision by Tesla not to allow you to just go through green lights here's another Tesla give him a wave that's okay they don't wave back I'm still gonna wave and coming up to red lights you can see it does slow down to a nice halt uh, at a red light if you've got the FSD beta FSD package sorry so I'm getting confused here FSD package. FSD beta is something we don't have uh, yet in Australia. Hopefully soon. So when the light turns green, you've still got to um, just confirm with your accelerator, or you can tap that green stalk, like I said. But coming up to a red light there, you can see it does does slow down quite nicely. Now, I've noticed that over the last few updates, um, it does get out of the blocks quicker now, uh, from a red to a green light. In the past, it used to be quite slow, but as you'll see now, when it turns green. Oh, lol, it just made a liar out of me. I still have to confirm <laughs> when it turned green. Uh, I guess I was the first first uh, light, uh, first car at the light. So when I'm the next, uh, when I'm behind a train of cars, it doesn't do that. Um, I'm gonna change lanes again. So there's a good lesson for you. When you're the first car at a red light, you've still got to confirm as well. Safety feature. So they go working quite nicely on a um, undivided road, and uh, you know on straight lines it's still great. Of course, if you're new to the game, then uh, you have to uh, you have to take over when you have, you've got to turn. For example, I'm going to turn here. Uh, you can't just um, allow the car to turn by itself; it just doesn't work. So I'll just take off autopilot now. I'll turn into the side road, and then I'm going to come back and do the return journey. See you guys shortly. All right, welcome back guys. Doing the return trip. Let's engage autopilot. Once we get that gray steering wheel symbol. Boom. There we go. So not many cars on the road today. It is a Saturday morning. Bit of a gray day here in Sydney. Works really well today, autopilot, as you can see, just right in the center of those two tram tracks, right in the center of the lane, basically exactly where I want to be if I was driving by myself, going at 60 kilometers an hour, no deviation, perfect, perfect conditions today. As you saw before and right, um, saw that blue flash up on the screen, that means that uh, it wants, the car wants me to make sure I'm still alive basically to tell the car I'm still awake and not falling asleep. Those checks are quite important and I do not condone anything, any devices that uh, override those checks, whether that be a, uh, look I'm not even going to talk about them, there, but there are devices out there and companies out there that um, try to override those checks, so do not, do not buy any of those if you're a new Tesla owner. Um, okay, so sometimes the lens do wiggle and um, I'll tell you why in a second, but as you can see, it's quite uh, a wide intersection here between my light uh, and the next part of uh, the road. Uh, so when that happens, when the lane markings are not visible or not easily seen by the car, you see that wobble. And uh, from where I can see, I'm not sure whether you guys can see it, but the lane marking up ahead is probably sort of up here, and the car's trying to find the best fit between the last bit of lane on this side versus that lane. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so I just disengaged there because it's quite a wide intersection. So just keep that in mind when you are going uh, across a wide intersection here. 
let's see what happens here when uh, quite another wide intersection. That's interesting, I didn't have to confirm that time, but I guess that car was ahead of me turning right. But I technically was the first car going straight, but still didn't need to confirm. Interesting. All right, so back on a nice bit of road here, and I'm gonna change lanes into the middle. Right there, look at that, lane change on a curve, isn't that nice? Did that pretty well. The lane change is really smooth, I gotta say. I quite enjoy the auto lane change part. The question is, would I pay $10,000 right now? Um, well, I have, but yeah, would I pay $10,000 again to upgrade from basic autopilot, which is free, included with all Teslas, to that FSD package where you get that auto lane change? It, I guess it really does depend. Obviously, I, I bought it to show you guys, um, you know, as part of my YouTube work, to show you uh, the benefits of the package. But would I do it if I was just someone who didn't have a channel? I just bought a Tesla for myself. I guess the question is, would do I go on many road trips? Um, if I do, then yes, I think it's worth it. I think that convenience of auto lane change is really handy if you're on a road that you've got to pass a few trucks. Just going through a few lights there, I had to confirm each time because I was the first car. But if you're on a road, or even just on a major road on your commute, where you've got to pass trucks, slow cars all the time, then you know having to disengage autopilot, put it back on, then this is where the auto lane change might come in handy. And I still think that's probably the, the best, by the way, ways to show me the police up ahead. So that's quite a handy function, having ways there on that jaw um, iPhone holder. Uh, but like I said, if, if you, oh, look at that, fairly accurate, wasn't it? Picked up the police car that is now chasing some car. That's why you don't speed, people. That's why you don't speed. All right, so coming up to 80 now, now I can engage the uh, speed limit. Will I be rubbernecking up ahead? I'm sure that police car caught someone speeding. There's always a cop hiding there. People, people always speed down this road. But back, back about what I was saying, I think that's still the best function of the FSD package, that auto lane change. Uh, it's really handy. Um, the Navigate on autopilot, um, it's still got a few bugs, I reckon. Uh, it's not always perfect. Uh, exiting uh, freeways and, and entering your freeways. Uh, and making decisions with auto lane change. I do test it every now and then on a run to the city on the Harbour Bridge run. Uh, it's okay, uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it, it has improved, I think, over time. Um, and you can customize uh, Navigate on autopilot as well. You don't have it on Mad Max mode, which is like making decisions for you. You can sort of override decisions if you want. So it's always a tough question. It always comes up whether it's worth 10 grand to upgrade in Australia to FSD package. Uh, leave a comment below if you think it's worth doing. Uh, we're all talking about the subscription plan that Elon has promised over the last year or so. We still don't know what the price is going to be. It's not even available yet. Whether it's going to be $100 a month, $200 a month, something like that. I think that's probably where they will head. Um, I think that would be quite handy, actually. Uh, you know, if you only go on a road trip every month or so. But whether it's worth Tesla's time to make it that cheap, don't know. Probably not. Probably, probably more expensive than that. Uh, interesting. All right, coming up to a traffic light now. Now this is a good time to show you, uh, if you're not the first car, coming up to a red light and a green light, then it'll just follow the cars ahead of you. You don't need to confirm either way. And you can change how close you want to follow the car ahead, so for that it's the right, right uh, scrolly wheel. You can go one, two, two, three. Four, five. It's pretty cool. You can uh, tell the car how close you want to follow. In Sydney, I think one or two is pretty good. Change lane to the right. Very good. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is my video for software update 2021.4.22. Uh, just another minor bug fix. Just uh, see the police car there in the petrol station. Must have pulled someone over, I'm sure, for speeding. Let's see. Can you guys see it? I think there's a car that it stopped. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the officer is uh, talking to someone there. Um, if you've received this update, let me know. And uh, if you've noticed anything new or any bugs, uh, let me know as well uh, in the comments section below. It'd be great to hear from you. And uh, hope you guys are staying safe. Looking forward to the next software update. Until then, happy charging.